in Advaita Vedanta, the existence of the universe is Brahman. It's like this. You are asking, what is the existence of the wave and how is it related to the ocean? Something like that. The existence of the wave is the existence of water. It is water which constitutes the wave. It is wood which constitutes this altar. In fact, there is nothing in the wave other than the water. There is nothing in this altar other than the wood. The substance is the wood here. The substance is water there. The very existence or being of this universe is Brahman. Sat. Pure existence. So according to Advaita Vedanta, pure existence is the ultimate spiritual reality. And it is your own nature. When you say that thou art, pure existence you are. That's what Vedanta is saying. What we are experiencing as the universe is that pure existence plus name and form. Sat plus Nama Rupa. That's what we are experiencing. So there's a direct answer to your question, but it's a difficult question, a difficult answer also. But the whole spiritual project of spirituality in Vedanta is conceived of as realizing yourself as that existence underlying the universe. Again, I'm quoting Mr. Eckhart. Do you not see how he uses the words, Mr. Eckhart? Ground of my soul is the ground of God. The ground means the existence. There is one existence, which is that God and thou, the individual. And when you realize yourself as that existence, you find yourself one with God. But Dvaita goes so far as to say, this entire universe borrows its existence from you. Not from you, Mr. Sopan Gupta, but the, real, the reality behind this person. The reality is Sat. So that reality is borrowed by, by all these names and forms. It may sound incredible. Why does it sound incredible? Because we think they are independent existences. I am something separate from them. How are they borrowing existence from me? A good example is the dream example. When we are dreaming, you see people, other people, yourself, buildings and so on and so forth. Things are happening. But when you wake up, what do you realize? All of them were my mind. True or not? Whatever you see, again, no confidence. Yes, whatever you see in the dream is your own mind. There's no doubt about it. It was generated by your mind. Therefore, the existence of every person in the dream, every building and road and the sky and the planet and the whole universe in the dream, the existence of it depends on your mind because your mind generated it. That's an example. This is an example we are all familiar with. Vedanta goes one step further and says, this world which we are experiencing, there is one existence consciousness bliss which itself is manifesting as this world. So the existence of the universe and the quest of spirituality are one and the same in Advaita Vedanta. 